Wipro, which is considered to be in the top 5 IT companies of India, gave a positive return of barely 3% from 2015 to 2020. But in the last 4 trading sessions, this stock zoomed from 188.95 rupees to 214.75 rupees, giving it almost a return of 13%. So If you want to know that exactly what happened because of which it zoomed so much in four trading sessions check out the full video Hi guys see Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to our Wednesday video In today's video first of all we'll try to have a basic understanding about Wipro then we'll talk about the reasons of why the share price jumped almost 13% in four trading sessions and of course the most important point that should we buy Wipro at this point or not but instead of giving you uh, a direct yes or no we are going to analyze about few positives for this stock few negatives for this stock and very important we are also going to do some technical analysis for this stock Wipro as i mentioned in the first part of the video falls into the top 5 IT companies of india uh, well what services does it provide provide services like data analytics artificial intelligence consulting application and infrastructure services cloud services and they are also providing services of cyber security uh, who better than me will understand the importance of cyber security those who are watching my channel closely know why i just said this sentence right uh, well if i talk about the promoters and the key shareholders uh, mr azim prem ji and his uh, family members and some other entities he con- uh, whom he controls uh, all these put together all the promoter and promoter group is what we call okay so he himself is family members some entities which he controls directly or indirectly all put together is known as what promoter and promoter group okay they put together hold a little bit over 74% of the shares okay uh, one important point for this uh, sh- uh, share again is that whenever i talk about share holding you might have checked out in my previous videos as well one important parameter we do talk about share holding is that we must check whether their shares are pledged or not for this company not even one single share has been pledged by the company Now let's understand why the stock zoomed 6 and a half percent just on 29th of May. Well, a news came up in the market which said that Mr. Thierry Delaporte, who uh, was heading Cap Gemini, is now set to be the MD and CEO of Wipro Limited. He is going to join Wipro Limited on 6th of July. This is the first instance where a foreign national is going to be a uh, MD CEO of. any of the top 5 it companies of india okay so you might be wondering that if one person joins in an organization uh, does it really mean that the stock has to zoom up 6 and 1/2% uh, this is called as management analysis in fundamental analysis okay uh, the company's product may be amazing uh, the company's plant and machinery may be amazing their brand name may be amazing but if the top level management if the key people are not right if they don't have the vision if they don't have the strategies to go ahead with uh, then the company may not go at the desired pace which shareholders desire okay so the growth might not be as high as shareholders expect if people at the top do not strategize uh, as per the expectations okay uh, so whenever a, a renowned person joins any organization like an at a at a position of an md and ceo then definitely shareholders expectations increase that this person has headed cap gemini for so many years uh, with his rich experience there could be a possibility that even wipro may uh, see a good pace of growth uh, that these are all expectations because of which the stock zoomed more than 6.5% on a single day that is 29th of may right but then the question is that that's just 6.5% what about the balance balance almost 6.77% is still remaining we are going to check that in the next section of the video So then what happened on 29th that the stock zoomed 6.77% the reasons uh let me go one by one the very first reason which i believe was that on the same day us dollar moved up from 75.54 rupees to 75.92 rupees that's almost a 40 paisa move in a single day that is considered to be big enough as far as the foreign currency markets are concerned or the currency markets are concerned uh, you might be wondering that if dollar goes up okay if dollar strengthens then why uh, could wipro get benefited out of it okay so wipro has a lot of uh, customer base uh, wherein 
so basically wipro exports a lot of services so they earn foreign currency whenever they sell any service okay so simple whenever they are selling services to let us say usa they are going to get money in dollars and if the dollar goes on strengthening then it's obviously a positive sign for wipro right so for majority of the it companies i can say whenever dollar strengthens it's going to be a positive sign for them in fact here you can also see on the screen uh, about how much presence wipro has over the globe and you can see as far as usa is concerned they have a huge presence and no wonder why this news of us dollar strengthening had a positive impact right that was the first and major reason uh, for the up move second reason is comparatively a minor reason basically that day nifty itself was up by 3% and uh, i mean you know it does happen that whenever the overall market mood is high then uh, there is a possibility that majority i am not saying all majority of the stocks Uh, are in a good mood uh, on that day and uh, that is uh, that's again i'm repeating a very minor reason why but yes that could also have contributed for a positive point well now to the most important point and what is that should we buy or not so for that we have to understand few positive points few negative points one of the first very positive point is that they have significantly reduced their debt from 14000 crores to 7800 crores that's obviously a positive point second of course everyone uh, now knows that i just dealt with this point mr theory delport who was heading uh, cap gemini is now uh, the head uh, is will join as md and ceo of wipro from 6th of july so uh, people are expecting that he uh, gives in good inputs and uh you know improves the pace at which this company is growing uh third uh as i had mentioned no uh, promoter uh, pledge is there uh, as far as the shares are concerned and one more very important point which i feel for wipro is that uh iot which is one of the most upcoming services uh in uh, the world why only in india uh wipro is considered as one of the leaders in iot by the way for those who don't know iot iot is known as internet of things uh that's like uh, like ai is buzzing word these days artificial intelligence similarly iot is also very buzzing word internet of things okay and uh, wipro is one of the leaders in this area well talking about the negative points as i mentioned in the very first part of the video the share price has also grown barely by 3% over the past few years and the reason is very much evident that there has been a very poor sales growth and even net profit growth as compared to its peers is what i'm saying and even if i talk about roce which is return on capital employed that has reduced from 29% to 19% as if i'm comparing financial year 14 15 with financial year 19 20 right so uh, all in all fundamentals don't look very very amazing don't look very very attractive right now so now that you have understood two or three important points from fundamental analysis let's move on to one or two points from technical analysis as well okay so uh, one important uh, you know level i can say is that the fibonacci retracement 38% level is at 215 rupees 10 paisa as i'm recording the video currently uh, stock is trading at 216 rupees 50 paisa so it's almost near that 38% retracement so if the stock is not able to hold above these levels for next 2 to 3 trading sessions there's a great chance that uh, if it does not hold above this level there's a great chance that it may retrace to its support level of 23% and the support comes out to 200 rupees okay so uh, see if the stock is able to sustain about to above 215 rupees or not uh, this is just about the fibonacci levels that i'm talking about uh, if, if i'm talking about the macd indicator moving average convergence and divergence that is showing a bullish pattern but uh, see i personally feel that uh, there are so many stocks right now in the market at such a lucrative price uh, don't jump into the stock is what i believe is my personal study okay uh, of course you have to do your own study but my personal study says that if you do uh, a better analysis a, a, a lot more studies into the stock market you can get so many uh, stocks uh, for your uh, investment uh, just to give you a quick example uh, i had talked about whirlpool uh, india limited uh, in my members special video so here in fact you can check it out on the screen as well 17th may was the date when i had uh, given this as a research uh, for my pro investor members uh, and at that day the stock uh, so i had given uh, i had 
uh, you know released this video on 17th of may assuming that you had uh, invested in, in the stock on the immediate next day at the closing price the stock closed at 1854 the very next day and today as i'm recording the video 2nd of june the stock is trading right now at uh, 2051 rupees so uh, that that gives you a, a return of almost 190 plus rupees uh, in less than a month if you translate into uh, percentage terms that's like more than 10 percent return in less than a month in less than one month so uh of course that that was a big change uh and i'm not saying that see how amazing tip i had give, given this was pure fundamental analysis that i'd done uh so just feels good that uh if after listening to my video if after doing uh, their own research if they also felt any of the pro investor member felt that yes we should have invested we should invest in this stock and had they purchased even two shares of this company i can say that the pro investor fee which is 399 would have been completely reimbursed right so uh, feels good uh, so i personally feel that wipro is not that bad but yes you do have better opportunities to invest in stock market right now well, that's it from my side. I hope you have enjoyed the video uh, about Wipro. Uh, in today's video, we learned a lot. We learned about uh, what is what was the basic uh, background or what does the company do, its promoters. Uh, we did talk about the shareholding pattern as well. We did talk about uh, what happened on those two days, why the stock zoomed up. We did talk about few uh, positive points of Wipro, few negative points of Wipro. We did talk about technical analysis as well. And finally, we concluded that not bad, but yes, you do have much more better opportunities in the market right now. So uh, you can check out uh, for other better opportunities in the market as of now, right? I hope you are enjoying my content. Do consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon. I hope you also consider hitting that join button, which you can see on the screen. And uh, don't forget to come live tomorrow at 8 p.m. Thursday, 8 p.m. for a live Q&A session. I would be happy, more than happy to uh, sort out your comments. So do ask your questions about this video in the comment section below and uh, you will be able to listen to the answers, most of the answers I may say uh, in tomorrow's live session, right? So that's it from my side, guys. Jai Hind and bye-bye.